So I like Astro a lot, but do you know what I like more? Astro Starlight. Starlight is Astro's documentation site template. It's it's super solid, has best practices built in, is being updated regularly with new features, and is honestly just a joy to work with. But if you're writing docs, you probably have a product, and if you have a product, you probably have a marketing website for that product. And if you have a marketing website, I bet it's not built with Astro. I mean, it might be. What do I know? The bet that I would take is if you've built your marketing website in the past three or four years, it's probably Next.js. So do you give up? Nah, there are plenty of paths that we can tread. Now, the first and easiest path to go down is to set up a subdomain. Deploy your docs there. There's literally no friction on the developer path here. It's easy to do, but, but here's the rub. Docs are great SEO service. Chances are good if someone's searching for something in your product, they're searching for something in your documentation. While subdomains are easy, they're really suboptimal for a variety of SEO reasons. But the thing to think about here is that you're building domain authority and you want that authority centered on your main domain, not the subdomain and docs are great for branded domain authority. So again, do we give up? Heck no. We can proxy Astro into a subdirectory path instead of say docs.domain.com, we would have domain.com slash docs. There are uh, a variety of ways to do this at the host or the CDN level. Uh, things like Cloudflare will help you out here, but we can also manage this within Next.js out of the box with rewrites in its config file. All right, so to start, we've got two relatively stock implementations of Starlight and Next, right? They're both done via the, uh, the NPX create Next app and the one uh, from Starlight is NPM create Astro at latest with a template and all that. I'll put it down below. And the first step we need to go through is actually to set up our proxy in Next.js. So here they are side by side. Uh, and to set up a proxy, we need to do that in our next config file, which I've got a blank version here. So we're gonna put in some code here. Let's get rid of the terminal here. So first we need to set up our rewrite rules here. And we have a method on the next config object called rewrites. And it's going to accept uh, a function and it's going to return out an array of rewrites for our application. We're gonna have a source for each of these rewrites and that's going to be the path that we're gonna be looking at to do the actual redirect here. And then we're gonna have the destination and that's going to be where we send the user uh, for this rewrite. In this case, I'm gonna use the localhost version but eventually you would want to have this in your final URL, the final domain that you'll be at at the time. So you can see here that we are taking two objects. We're gonna have one set to the slash docs route and it's going to return the slash docs route from our, um, our implementation of Astro. And then the other one's going to take a match string and the match string is gonna pass that to the docs string in the other domain. So this first one is actually not particularly necessary to work locally. It will work locally without it. But I found that when I put this up on Vercel, without it, we'd get some problems on the homepage. We get a 404 on the homepage. And then you can see here, we also have this property on the next config object called trailing slash. We're setting that to false. And this is, again, not something we need for local work. But when we push it up to Vercel, we would actually get in a rewrite loop uh, based on this. And we don't want that for sure. So we'll save this in and we'll take a look at it over in our main setup. So if we go to localhost 3000, you can see we've got the next. We can click the try the docs, which will take us to the slash docs route. And you can see we're coming over to our, um, our implementation of Astro, but we have a 404 and that's not necessarily what we want, right? So the problem here is that the Astro side isn't ready for where we're sending it. That's because it's anticip anticipating a slash docs route and slash docs is not where these live right now. So what we can do is we can go to our Astro config file and we can actually set a base for our docs. This is gonna be the base route for the entirety of the docs implementation, the homepage, as well as any auto-generated URLs that Astro makes for us in the future. They're all gonna be set to the root of slash docs. So we save that in, we come back over and we refresh and you can see now we have the home page. We go to the interior pages, we'll have slash docs here as well, uh, as well as on this page here. All of them are set to slash 
stocks. And that's going to make it so that we have these, re, uh, these reroutes working properly, but also makes it so that when we're working locally just on the Astro project, we have all the URLs where they're going to be eventually. Even though it will work at the root of our project, it's going to be better since we're going to be putting things in Markdown or in some HTML URLs that we have this in a specific format so that when we're editing our docs, it's the same as when we are editing docs live. It's all on the same root path. Now let's learn one more thing from my personal experience on this. While all this works locally, when we get to the Vercel build, all the static assets, images, CSS, et cetera, won't work. And trust me, we want the CSS to work. So to do that, we need to set up an output directory here. So we've got a uh, .dist docs, and this is where all of our files are going to end up in the output of what um, Vercel is going to do when it builds. So this will keep everything from being in the root. The root of our static assets was gonna be at the slash. We want it at the slash docs. And this is all that we technically need to make things work. If I save this in, we'll see that it's still working over here. And when we go to the example guide, uh, we are good to go. So we can go ahead and change all the URLs in our project uh, to our final domain, and then we could push this live. Now, there is another consideration to make here, and that's the fact that it is actually possible for our Starlight site to get crawled by Google. And we don't actually want that. We want, the in, we want Google to index the main domain and not do duplicate content for this other domain. So while we could do a lot of work with some intense like robots or no indexing, the simplest solution is gonna to be to make a set of canonical links on the Astro pages to make sure they're all pointing to the main domain. And to do that, we actually have built-in functionality from both Astro and Starlight to help out here. So all we need to do is actually add a site property to our Astro config with the proper defined URL for our final destination. This is actually going to make it so that if you're using the stock Starlight components, it's going to add a canonical tag to each page's header. And we're basically done at that point. So let's take a look, let's save that in. Let's refresh this page and let's take a look at our source and find our canonical tag. So you can see here, link rel canonical, and it's going to the docs URL at proxy test main, blah, blah, blah. So if I actually went to the Astro version of this, I'd get this as well, and it's ready and set up to have this canonical work. And you know, as a happy side effect here, adding the site property will also automatically generate a sitemap for you on build. And that's something the other uh, SEO features will be nice for. And really, that's it you get best in class docs and uh, super solid SEO practices. Who could really ask for more here? And this is, I think, a really great way of working. I highly recommend giving both Astro and Starlight a try. It's really great for content sites, it's really great for docs. And the great thing is it can be integrated with your main sites without any big rewrites.